Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Torchlight 2. Just picking up a couple minutes after we left off last time. We went back to town, we sold some stuff, bought some stuff, I upgraded another pistol. Nothing too exciting. And uh, we are about to go into this shadowy crevasse. I wonder what lies within. Yeah. A lot of shadowy people, people with trench coats, waiting to sell us illegal medications. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, you hope so. Okay, I'm going to get my bot up and then I'm going to demonstrate the dynamo field ability when I can. Here we oh, go. Oh, yeah. So, get, get over here. And Whoa. you may not be able to see it properly, but <laughs> no. what it does is that it charges up my, my charge meter really fast, like incredibly fast. Oh, wow. And so, basically, I had it charged up in like 10 seconds. Right, or even less than that, actually. That's because what it does is that it adds a little bit of charge up to five enemies if you hit them with that area of effect, right? So I spam it like five times, and then I get a whole bunch of charge, and then I can do the full strength force view. Nice. Right, and it's really good because now we can have the force view up basically like 90% of the time. That is good. And that will go a long way to making us very, very tough. Let's put it that way. Okay. The force view only lasts for 30 seconds, by the way. I agree. Yeah, sorry. I was looking sorry, at skills. Sorry, I was just kind of afraid that the Skype dropped. <laughs> no, <laughs> nope. Yeah, I was listening, but I, I was trying to decide what skill to upgrade. Okay, sorry. Yeah. yeah. And I ended up getting more... Uh, I just executed that guy, by the way. You did? Yeah. Cool. I got more chance to spawn Shadowlings. Okay. There's a guy over here. I'm going to use my dynamo field on him a bit. Well, I'm just... He's just dead now. No need to electrocute a dead spider. <laughs> the Zen story. The Zen story. What's to live by? <laughs> you can actually do a dead spider. It's true, you're just making more trouble for yourself. I know. Bad karma. <laughs> okay, that's my shoe. Well, also, like, you have to fray a wire and everything. It's just. <laughs> no, it's just not worth the effort. Yeah, basically, what's the ones it worth? There's no, there's no situation in life in which that would be worth it. I don't think so, yeah. Okay, now we have. And go back and grab that gold. You know, I'm sure certain OCD people are going to be extremely upset by this video because I'm just leaving stuff lying all over the floor. I think that's the least of our worries. <laughs> like, we're just every time we allocate stat points, we're just like, yeah, that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just I don't look at a lot of equipment before I sell it because I'm in a hurry. <laughs> so I don't yeah. know if it's better than my current stuff or not. I mean, I actually have had the, the benefit at this point of playing Torchlight 2 under Act 3, so I know what kind of build I'm going for, more or less. Nice. Yeah. Except I... that in Torchlight, in my solo character, I have like five skill points I don't know what to do with. So, <laughs> so maybe, <laughs> maybe I need to take that back. <laughs> well, at least you know what some more skills do. Yep. Like for me, it's like I'm thinking about getting a new right-click skill, but I don't know what anything does. I don't know what's good. Okay, there we go. Because it's uh, it's ridiculous how powerful the force field dynamo field. I mean, the force field dynamo field combination is. Yeah. Really? That's pretty good. And then uh, you know, I, I, then the 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 benefit of it is that uh, um, aside, I should say, from building up crazy amounts of charge very quickly, it also does some damage to the enemies. And you can stack if you stack electric damage on top of that, then it would be super. You basically take a big chunk off the off the enemies right away. I, wonder, okay. I need to uh, figure out how to get my charge meter full more quickly, because mine like never procs. I get it up to like 75% and then all the enemies are dead, and it goes back down. I mean, there are some skills of the engineer that which cause a lot of damage, obviously, with if you expand charges, and I suppose I could try to abuse that. Yeah. I'm lazy, let's put it that way. I just like to put my shoots up and then use my cannon. I have a passive skill that would allow me to share my charge bonuses with the group, uh -huh. and I oh, really want to get that, but I never, like, my charge meter never fills up, so it wouldn't be useful. I've got to figure out how to fill charge more effectively. I wonder, this is, the staircase is over here, just in case you're wondering. Oh. We could explore the rest of the floor, too. Sorry, there was a chest over there. Ah, okay. Yeah, I was going to say that if I had the ability to share my charges, I would. You know, Dynamo Field is so, builds up charges so quickly. Yeah, that would be great. But I guess that, that would kind of be overpowered for that exact reason. Yeah, then you could basically, 
you could basically just discharge all your your super power charge attacks over and over again. Yeah, yes, so it is. I'm really using the shield ability. Are we going the right way? No, we're not. We're just exploring the rest of the oh, floor. Okay. I mean, we don't have to. Because we level up so quickly anyway, it's just we decided to look around a little bit more. Yeah, I feel like until we start dying, we don't really need to worry about changing what we're doing. Okay, let's go azurking then. Oh, dead adventure. Oh, yeah, yeah. we got to go desecrate him. Big potion, yeah, it's important. <laughs> <laughs> Always desecrate your dead adventurers, kids. Yep. Hey, I don't mind if somebody desecrated me if I was dead. That's well, true. In, in Torchlight too. I, I wouldn't really care if it was in real life. Not, yeah, not, not concerned about what happens to my body. Yeah, that's true. Well, oh. I guess I would prefer my organs got donated to science instead of just like somebody eating them or something. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, did right you die? after I say oh. when we start. Okay, I'm going to resurrect here. Lose 509 gold. That's so cheap. Okay. Um, okay. I'm sorry. I think it's because I didn't get my force view up one time. Yeah, I just like I got stuck in the monster. Like those guys just all appeared at <laughs> once for me. And then I couldn't move. Oh, uh, no. Oh, that's why I didn't get my force wheel up in time. I, there's something happening to me. I can't really cast a spell or something. Oh, weird. Oh, Are I don't silenced? have enough mana. That's why. Oh, that's important. Did something hey, cast a silence on you? No, I didn't have enough mana. Oh, there's still a something's boss happening. Here. I can't cast spells. <laughs> What's going on? There's still a boss here. Mana. Okay, the boss is almost nearly got him. Okay, oh, let's nice. drink a mana potion, drink a health potion, put my force field back up. Ta da! Force field up just in time for the guy to die. <laughs> okay, unidentified. Oh no, there's another. There's a boss here. This is the actual boss, I, I think. I totally read this as breast rod. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Say your prayers, for you have encountered me, the best rod. <laughs> that best rod was not very hard, if you know what I mean. Yes, it really isn't. <laughs> well, you know what? There's certain herbal concoctions that could help you with that. <laughs> for only thirty dollars a month. <laughs> yeah, only thirty dollars a month. Okay, is there anything up here? There's a yes. chest here. Yeah, to go with the breast rod. Yep. And I think that's it. We yeah. killed the big ugly. The, the big are, ugly breast rod. Look at the map and quickly. I feel like... I just feel like there should be more to this. <laughs> I don't know. That was way too easy. No, it says return to Havasus in the Austrian Waste. Alright. In the, in the quest log. So I'm thinking we are pretty much done. Yep. I have more stat points to assign. This is incredible. I just assigned stat points like five minutes ago. Yeah. I'm sure eventually the leveling up will slow down. But for right yeah, now, it's pretty crazy. It is. We can basically zerg the game if we wanted to. Get out of here, jackal beasts. <laughs> They've been waiting for us. Yeah. For the, like, <laughs> like, they'll be back soon, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> They're fishing for adventurers. <laughs> get my bot up. I can I always forget to do this. Can we get up there? I mean, we have to figure out how to get up there eventually once we find the key. The key could even be up there. We've been here. Oh boy! Oh, now I'm we, just yeah, we out. were we were up there before, and then we like turned back for no reason. Oh <laughs> no, it's because I found that shrine, and then we just got led away by the monsters. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so guys, this is what you watch us for, you know, just <laughs> lots and lots of circling around the desert. Yep. That's what we we're best spent. At. Exactly, forty days and forty nights in the desert, and then after that, we are going to ride into Jerusalem. Yep. Blasphemy jokes—they're the best. How is that even blasphemy? That's what happened. <laughs> Amadex, die Amadex. Break the urns. You know what one of my favorite Bible stories is? What? It's the time when, um, like Moses went up to get the Ten Commandments, <laughs> and uh, yeah. like yes. while he was gone, he yes. wasn't even gone that long. It was like a week or two. Yeah. Everybody was like, "Okay, well, I guess he's not coming back. His God was probably not real." Let's just start worshiping this calf that we made out of all our gold. And so he comes back and they're having like crazy orgies around this calf. And he's like, oh, come on, guys. <laughs> he was just talking to God and God was like, hey, you should probably get back down there. Something's wrong. <laughs> yep. and so he comes back down and he breaks the Ten Commandments. He's so angry. And uh, yeah, 
Then he grinds up the bowl. Well, first he, like, makes... He's like, who's faithful to the Lord? And, like, some people go to his side and some people don't. He's like, okay, kill all those guys. <laughs> and then everybody who came to his side, he's like, okay, as punishment for that little fiasco, I'm going to grind up this golden calf and make you and put it in your water and make you drink it. So he gave his whole, like, people heavy metal poisoning, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> and then later on they do, they get like feverish, they start showing signs of heavy metal poisoning and they think it's like a punishment from God. Wow. I love the Bible, it's so funny. Oh, the Old Testament God is an angry yeah, God. Yeah, he's, he's a dick. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I actually read through the entire Bible, like... I don't know how many times I've read through the entire Bible, and I can never remember any of it, sadly. Yeah, I, I read it when I was like 15. Uh, I don't want any of this. Leave me alone, you desert dervish. Can you get your uh, reward? No, yeah, I was being attacked by some asshole. Uh, oh, this is another yeah. like scenario like the slaver place where a bunch of people are just going to give us stuff. Yep. Fame increase! Regent Silk Slippers of the Mule. <laughs> Asterian right. Pants of Might, again. Yeah, this is just I don't I don't even know what I want to do with any of this. Yeah, I'll just take none it. Of this is good. Tower of the Moon. We have to go into the Tower of the Moon. Momentous leather collar. It's momentous. <laughs> Feasting beast tag. Feasting beast tag. Outlaw's pistol. That could be good. Eight percent damage bonus when dual wielding. Ninety five ninety five physical damage over five seconds. That's good. What? That's pretty good, yeah. Oh, but I can't take it yet. We just accepted a quest, okay. Quest. Yeah, so we have to go find the desert, the Tower oh. of the Moon. And... Did you see that guy? He shield bashed me. I just walked <laughs> over here and he like what came out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, so if you want that item, we, what we need to do is to head north I at this point of time. Towards the star, uh, to the northeast, oh. north by northeast. Should, hang on a second, I'm full of stuff. You're full of stuff, okay. Yeah. See if I can get do some item management while waiting for you. Standing in the middle of the desert, scorching desert, looking through junk yep i don't know why nobody has invented a, a diablo style game called loot peddler or something which you you also have to do like a mini game like like racketeer or something in which you have to sell off some of the loot to other adventurers that would be oh haven't they done something like that have they i don't i don't even know what if they have called yeah it was some kind of it was like you made a store in an rpg yeah racketeer the game's called Racketeer. Oh. It's a, kind of like an anime game, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, sorry. So what were you saying? Yeah, I was just thinking that they should just combine an ARPG style game with that. Oh. This... Okay, yeah, never mind then. Hey, there's another oh, quest guy over here. Mind. Oh, I haven't... Oh, I never got the quest reward from this guy. Ha! Huh. That explains it. Ah, uh, yeah. OCD guys, I'm so sorry. Dead Adventure, big health potion. Why is he? Well, he didn't drink it on time, that's why. Yeah. Okay, we're headed to the Tower of the Moon. Hey, Skull. Got lots of money from the Skull and two yeah, chips. Really? Hey, a face beast! Oh, yes! Yes, let's kill the face beast so that you get a chance to die. To die, face beast. Show us the way to your something. There's the face bottle, so let's jump in. Yes! Okay, let's see what face challenge this is. Face beast challenge. Face beast challenge. So that challenge. means we are going to have to fight a bunch of dudes. <laughs> so it's just like the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. That's basically one of it. <laughs> Pick up the gold. I think this is one of those really long linear ones in which we just run down a long passageway and destroy enemies. Okay. And like you said, just like the rest of the game, yeah. really. <laughs> I got no problem with that. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> After the last fiasco yeah. in which in which we went into it without you. Oh, leave me alone, you fiery breath assholes. Hey, I'm s yeah, they actually do turn me into stone. That's really annoying. I oh, maybe like that's that. how I died before. Yeah. Because, yeah, I just could not move. Ah, uh, we have a boss monster over there. Oh my god, there's a lot of loot up there. Definitely want to have a look at that at some point. Back over it. Tackle, tackle, dish, dish. So just a giant ant, either. well, a giant pangolin, really. So this guy should be getting oh, easier because I have a lot of uh, armor destroy. Yeah, 
you would hope so anyway, yeah. right? It does seem to be the case. Good yeah. stuff. Boom. Okay, he's rolled up into a ball. Can, how do we get up there? There has to be a way to get up. Oh, yeah, that's the exit part of that too, so there must be oh, a way yeah, to Oh yeah, we're just up. gonna loop around it looks like. Yep. Two, three, get my charge up. And then get my force field up. Yeah. You guys, you guys can touch me now. That is pretty cool. Can touch this. I'm hoping I can get the... Eventually, eventually... I'll be able to upgrade my force field so that the full strength force field applies to you too. Right now your force field is only half strength. Yeah, that would be cool. Oh, okay. So like really my job seems to be hang back and shoot things. Yep. And every time I don't do that I die. Uh oh. Get ah, oh, come here and attack me. You want me, not him. Okay. Okay, that's we're going to kill all these Jaguar Beasties. That's a word, Jaguar Beasties. I'm going with it. Jaguar Beasties. Jaguar Beasties. Okay. I'm just going around, just killing armadillos in the desert. Ah, here's... <laughs> just another uh, day. Just another day, yep. Oh my god, that's a lot of um, white items here. Yep. And the open chest and it's even more. <laughs> it's gonna fill up my Jeez. Ah, I think it did fill up my inventory again. I'm No it didn't. Well it's close though. A lot? Yeah. Ooh. Elemental protection. Plus six percent poison damage ring, that's good stuff. I caught the hell of a lot of spells from that. Wow. You got spells? Yeah. Oh, I guess a I did too. Like at least four of them. Draining touch, elemental overload. Draining touch Element. too. Yeah, I got two draining touches. You want one? You got two draining touches? Yeah. Uh, what does it do? Uh, it's... The caster draws life from any foe struck for the duration of the spell. Sure, I have a spell for you too. Um, it's marksmanship. Ooh, nice. Something you... Yeah. Alright, so give me just a moment. Okay, uh... Watch. Yeah, that reduces the requirement of bows, pistols, crossbows, and rifles. Nice. I think this one might be good for Cyrene if you want to try to give it to her. What, Maybe element one. concentration? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, co concentration. Actually, yeah, that's maybe something good for me right now, too. I can always unlearn it. I can give it to her later. Oh, you can? Yep. Oh, so it's just like equipment. Wait, hold on. I can't unlearn it now. Damn it. <laughs> uh, there oh, has to just be a don't tell her. Laser. I'll figure it, uh, figure it out later on. Anyway. Nice. That's a good spell. Pick up that 8 gold, just lying by the surface portal, and then we can go back, I think. Whenever you're ready, that is. Alright, sounds good. Okay, now I you've had it. your first experience. Yeah, I got my face beast cherry popped. <laughs> your face beast cherry popped. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I have to remember to get my bot going soon. Then we shall go assault the Tower of the Moon. The Tower of the Moon is really not much of a tower, actually. It's got like two floors. <laughs> tower name only. It's like calling something. It's like calling something a, a battleship and finding a canoe. Yep. Maybe they're just trying to, like, make it sound more impressive than it is, so people won't attack it. Yep. Oh shit! A tower. It's like a two-story apartment <laughs> building. <laughs> yeah, basically. And the apartment building of the moon doesn't have quite that ring it's to true. it, you know. The duplex of the moon. <laughs> okay, I was just trying to find a way to that star at the top. We got that's where the tower of the moon is, or as I'm calling it now, the duplex of the moon. The condo of the moon. <laughs> Here's a quest area. Wait, we don't have the quest marker for it though. Huh. I, I wonder if we've made a mistake. <laughs> No, it's probably one of those uh, those optional areas. Yeah, you want to go in there, or do you want to go somewhere else? Uh, we can go in there and clear it out. I don't know if we'll get the quest item associated with it, but we might have to come back at some yeah. point. It might be a good like thing for the length of the episode if we just do that and then we could call it quits. Okay, yeah, let's do that and then. Oh, oh, oh don't oh, no. You okay. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally brought up my pad menu. I didn't want to do that. Hopefully we can get a quest item or in there. Then the Stygian, Stygian Aerie. 
Yes, game. I know. I still have my my points that I need to oh, yeah. to assign. Yeah. So one, two, one, two. She's like two level ups to attend to. <laughs> or no, one of them was a fame level up. Oh yes, that's true. Yeah. Okay, get my bot going here. There we go. Hey bot, how are you doing, bot? <laughs> Is that his name? Yeah, that's his name. I gave him another name earlier, and I've completely forgotten what it is. Was that before or after we called him Steve? I think it might be Steve. <laughs> Let's just call him Steve. It's easier. It is easy. Easy. Easy to remember name. That's virtue to that, having an easy to remember name. Yeah. My inventory oh. is full. Bob. Man, my inventory is full again. No. Okay. Let me just sell some white stuff really quick. Okay, see what I can do on my side. Uh, yep. The Skull of Avimony. The Skull of Avimony, okay. Uh, I'm out of identify scrolls. Yeah, out of identify scrolls. Yeah. Well, the nice thing is you can get the dog to buy what? some really? for you. Yes, just oh, click on the uh, nice. shopping links and ask for identify scrolls. I'm, I am out too, I think. Oops. Oh, well, not really. I'll just ask for two. Then send him back to town. Be back in two minutes. Doggy says. <laughs> How does that little dog carry so much stuff? I don't know. It's, it's there's no there's no rational explanation for yeah. that. How do we carry so much stuff for that matter? It's true, but like there's a there's a difference in scale there. <laughs> <laughs> like my panther, it makes sense that my panther can carry about as much as I can. It's got a big backpack and everything. <laughs> you got this little Pomeranian, and you're loading it up with the same amount that fits in your backpack. So, that's a Pomeranian that could. Yeah. Basically. Okay, I really... Uh, I really need more mana at some point. Uh oh! Here's the Bone Cloud summon. We have... Well, it's just one boss. I think we get into the most trouble when we fight multiple bosses at one time. That's yeah. the real... As one might expect. Yep. I got my force view up. Is that a different boss? Yeah, we have more than one boss. Now. Yeah, I think he like turned into this boss. Or something. Really? No, maybe not. Something. I don't know. It looked like he popped up right when the other guy died. Pain Crusher, why you be a dick? It's his job. Yeah, I mean, a name like Pain Crusher, I don't expect him to be to be a um, recre rec recreational therapist. Let's put it that Probably way. not. <laughs> Pain Crusher, the recreational therapist. Yep. Man, he would hate his parents. I know, he would. I knew a guy who uh, changed his name. His name was perfectly normal. It was like Grant or something. He changed it mm -hmm. to uh, Fire Penguin Disco Panda. It's what? On his driver's Why? license. Because he's weird. <laughs> Same dude has a forked yeah. tongue. L let me let me understand this. Yo, you knew a guy who changed his name to to what? Can you say that again? Fire please? Penguin Disco Panda. Fire Penguin Disco yeah, Panda. Yeah, it's first and oh. last name. Okay. Well, well, whatever makes him happy. Yeah. So, what does fans call him then? Uh, Fire Penguin. <laughs> That's his first name. <laughs> Fire Penguin. Let's call him Fire. I'll call him Penguin. Nah, you have to say the whole thing. Like it's such a fun name to say. Nobody's gonna shorten it. So when he walks into like a Starbucks and <laughs> and ask him, so who's uh, who, what's the name of the person that's coffee is coffee? Like, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, they probably think he's joking, but I mean it works. Yep. They're not gonna question it. Yeah, same oh. dude uh, forked his tongue. Very painful procedure. Oh, oh, oh! You weren't talking about one of the monsters in the game. Oh no, no, no! Yeah, fire penguin. Oh my uh, god! Forked tongue. Jeez. I've heard a rumor that he has a forked dick as well, but I haven't seen it for myself. Okay, well. But yeah, he's into oh. body modification and stuff. Oh, well, I figured. Weird dude. Lives in uh, Isla Vista, Santa Barbara. Okay, so anyone watching this, if you want to know a really interesting dude, go to Isla Vista, Santa Barbara. If you, if you live there, you probably it. already know him, though. <laughs> this is true, this is true. <laughs> he's, he's not a very private person. He's very well known <laughs> in the community. Wow, kind of interesting guy. Yeah, there's also I, there's a homeless dude in uh, Isla Vista called the Pirate. He has an eye patch. I, he oh, plays okay. a harmonica, and he talks like a pirate. 
Okay, well, that makes him happy. Yeah, he's a he's a strange dude as well. So once in a while, do you drop by and give him like a doubloon? Uh, no, I never lived there. Oh, okay. But my friend lived there, so I met him a few times. He's a cool dude. He came to a circus show we were putting up uh, one time and played his harmonica on the stage for a while. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just, uh, un unprompted. Sorry, I'm trying to sell stuff. I've I've been like constantly <laughs> full of garbage. <laughs> oh, man. And you have lots of inventory on to sell too. I'm sorry. No, I'm just kidding. Man. I say you're full of garbage and you have lots of stuff to sell too. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> ah, we're about to reach the boss actually. Now, funny that you mentioned that 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 boss, that champion that I fought earlier, that spawned another one. The boss we are just about to fight does the same thing. He spawns champions. Or no, he, he dies and champions. turns into another guy? No, midway, th midway through the battle, another one will show up. So oh, okay. Let you know. Gotcha, I'll keep my eye out for that. Desecrated Bowman. Desecrate desecrated Bowman? Yeah. Okay, well, he wouldn't mind if we desecrate him just a little bit more. Probably not. He's used to it by now. <laughs> he is. It's part of his job description. <laughs> yeah, <right>? exactly. <laughs> Desert Lair seeking a desecrated Bowman. You must have a BA in being desecrated. <laughs> BA in being desecrated. <laughs> a BA in archaeology. A BA in being desecrated. That must be a really <laughs> terrible major to get. I can't I imagine know. what the coursework is like. <laughs> I know, know you major, major in desecrated. You have to write a, dis a thesis about it. Yeah. Why is Healbot not healing me? Uh, I don't know if he's being a dick. Yeah, there we go. Come on, Healbot. I had to heal myself there because I was impatient. Yeah, I don't know, like, right when we load into an area, he forgets what his job is for a second. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, the Manticore is going to show up soon, so whenever he shows up, I would Spoiler alert. Show up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it would be more of a spoiler if it didn't say Manticore over the dog walking. Oh, yeah, I wasn't paying attention. All right. There you go. There's the Manticore. It looks like a the demon. Manticore. Yep. Come on. Manticore, demon, whatever that your name is. It's almost nothing like a manticore. <laughs> Does he even have a scorpion tail? I can't tell from this angle. I I really can't tell. I should okay, probably well, heal. Yeah. Okay. Here comes the second one. Alright. I'm gonna try to like kite him away so we can both focus on one. I'm trying to get my boss view all the way up here. There we go. Okay, boss beat us up. Now I'm just going to destroy this manticore over here. Hopefully. That's a plan, anyway. Plan no, is to destroy the manticore. Come back here. He just, like, totally walked away from me. He didn't give a fuck. Alright, they switched places. I'm still focusing on the first manticore. Well, come here, you doofus. Let me shoot you. My entangles are not working on these guys at all, as far as I can tell. I think, yeah, perhaps it doesn't work on them. I don't even really know. Yeah, if we, at Get this point, if we focus the one that's low, we should be in a pretty good position. Okay, now I'm going to use my boss view. Bring it up. Man, I am uh, I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to feel the underleveledness. <laughs> Spamming yeah. health potions well, here. I mean, I'm okay. It's fine. It's It's gotten to a, a comfortable point of difficulty for me. Okay, one down. Just gonna keep the boss view off, we should be okay. Yeah, we seem to be fine. Going to to spam the dynamo field here again. Uh it seems almost dead, no. Was that a death enemy? No it wasn't. No, <laughs> okay. no, no. Yeah, I was a bit confused there at first too. Mysterious shoulders and eye of the manticore. Nice, I got a mysterious axe. Yes, probably nobody's gonna want that though. Yeah, yeah, not not me. I Pick out oh all this my gold god, my inventory is full again. Hey, there's so much stuff that like is part of the set or that I want to look at more closely when we're done recording. Yeah, I'm thinking actually this might be you know we can just exit this. Oh, there's an ornate chest over there. It's a big golden glowing chesty thing. Jesus, I have so much crap. Like everything's part of a set, so I can make a lot more set stuff in a second. Yeah, you can go gambling. There's more gold over here. Alright. And more, well, jeez, more enemies. Jackal Beast, get out of here. You don't even concern us at this point. Yeah, you don't even need gold. Why are you protecting yeah. it? 
I mean, I'm sure they have a barter economy instead of a currency economy. Oh, this might be a little bit racist. We don't really know much about their culture. That's true. It's possible the jackal That's beasts have a very nuanced way of life. <laughs> oh, here's some yeah. more jackal beasts and more gold. Oh boy. Lots and lots of gold. Alright. Come on, Jackal. And guess what? I have more stat points to allocate as well. Yeah, so, so do you I. Wanna, wow. You want to just uh, end this episode after we go through the waypoint portal and then we'll sort of deal with our stuff? Yeah, that sounds good to me. So let's end the episode once we jump through the portal. A fighting oh. sword as opposed to a non-fighting sword. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I think that's it for me. So I'm going to jump out. I have four skill points to allocate. It's fairly ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I have two. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. Let's play Torchlight 2. Uh, thank you for joining me, Zen. Oh, no, as always, thank you so much. Yeah. This was fun. So, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Yep. Make sure to visit Zen's channel. I do this whenever I yep. think of it. <laughs> yeah, Zen and Cyrene. <laughs> yeah, and definitely make sure to visit Green 99's channel as well. Yep. So, I guess we'll just okay. end on this loading screen because it's. Oh, there it is. Alright, now we ah, can look okay. at the camera. Yep. Goodbye, guys. Okay. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.